Well, hey gang, how you doing? It's time once again for the Mexican Minute La Paz Video Fishing Report coming to you from La Paz, Baja, Mexico. Jonathan here. Thanks for checking in. Hope you're having a great week. Thanks for taking the time. Please subscribe. This is going to cover all of the fishing action for this past week of the 28th of July to August 5th, 2018. Well, we're here on a beautiful day in La Paz. Once again, sun's out. It's been a hot week, but let me tell you, today's today. Tomorrow is tomorrow because here's the big story that could happen this coming week if you're coming down. The weather looks like it's going to change. We've had beautiful weather all week. It's been hot, just like it's been hot seemingly all over the United States, all over the world. Uh, it's been a scorcher, but great fishing weather. But according to the weather predictions, and this is something we've been watching for about the last two weeks, it looks like we're going to get some rain this week. It's not a storm storm per se. It's not a named hurricane or a tropical depression or tropical storm. It's kind of like the rain you get back home. When the weatherman says well, we have a 20% chance today or well, we have a 40% chance, it's changing almost hourly. Some days it seems like the weather reports it's going to start raining on Monday, going to rain a little bit on Wednesday, then maybe some at night on Thursday, and then on Saturday. Then a couple hours later it changes completely and it's going to be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So we just don't know. But let me tell you something about the rain that we do have here. Given that it's not a hurricane, it just says thunderstorms with some possible lightning. These can be localized. Sometimes it could rain like right here, right over me in a big column, torrentially, and a hundred yards behind me over here. It could be clear blue sunny skies. You can literally drive around the rainstorms. Or it could rain one place in town, like up in the mountains very often, and that's where we get our water from. It could rain up in the mountains, but not here in the city. Or it could rain here in the city and not out where you're fishing. Or like some of the predictions say, it could rain in the morning and then not at night, or it could rain at night and not in the morning. There's just no way to put our fingers on it. So just a little aviso, a little bit of uh, forewarning for you. If you're coming down, it could, it looks like we could have some rain. I don't know how strong it's going to be or what days or what hours even that it's going to rain, but uh, be warned about that. I hope, uh, hopefully we won't have to cancel any fishing trips. Hopefully the port captain doesn't close anything down, but that's also why we tell you always buy trip insurance. You can cover some of these things, but you know, tell you what, let's talk about what happened behind us what happened last week because we had a pretty decent week of fishing again same story once again the dorado are biting and that's what happens when we have this warm weather the summertime is prime time as well as the fall for our dorado and probably well i'd say probably 80 percent of our fish were dorado this week not a lot of big ones but fun sized fish especially for a lot of the first timers you know fish in the say eight to about 20 pound class is perfect great fun for lots of people uh, no problems there you get into a school of them and it could be wild dorado, uh, dorado rodeo for 20 minutes 30 minutes an hour where you get one you get another two three lines all hooked up at the same time just a lot of fun you could go all day and not hit anything then you hit that spot and boom it's just fun fantastic weather or fishing and you fill up the box and you go home with uh, big smiles on your face or you could find the dorado and you find one then two then you find another one and you just have a day of constant steady action mix in with maybe some you know uh, bother some needlefish, some Jack Cravel, some Bonita, stuff like that. And again, a fun day, you go home with a full box. Almost everybody coming down, I can't think of anyone that didn't catch fish this week or didn't go home with fish. The other story is once again the tuna over at Las Arenas with our Muertos Bay Las Arenas fleet. Some of the fish still over at Soravo Island, some at the north, some at the south, but we're also seeing fish as close as right there, just outside the point at Muertos Bay. So these are big fish. I, I, can't emphasize that enough or overstate that enough. Guys are coming down, they all want these 40 to 100 pound tuna, but we've had big, powerful guys. I mean, I'm a little guy, but some big guys go, you know what? Those fish whooped me. I was on that fish for an hour, almost two hours, lost the fish, throw another bait, and boom, I got hit with another fish again. And I'm out there for another hour. It was killing me. Some folks are, are getting into these tuna and the next day they're going, you know what, I just want small little Dorado the rest of my time here. So, you know, they're still out there. Uh, we're probably losing, well, let me give you an example. Yesterday, we hooked eight of these big tuna. You know how many we got to the boats? We got one. One tuna made it to the boat. The others, long fights, big fights. Either the angler just gave out or the, the fishing gear gave out because these big fish, they want to eat light tackle. So you got an 80 pound fish on, but you've got 25 or 30 pound test. Makes a big difference. It puts all of the odds in favor of the fish. So if you want to come down, it's home run fishing at Las Arenas. Uh, you get one of these big guys, you go home with nothing, or you fish with our La Paz fleet and you go have some fun with these Dorado that are all over the place. So basically that's going to do it for our uh, Mexican Minute La Paz video fishing report for this week. Thanks for checking in. Appreciate it. You have yourself a good week. Take care of each other. God bless. And hopefully we don't get some rain this week. Check out the fishing gallery. You'll see some really big fish. You take care. This is Jonathan for Tailhunter International. <laughs>